Hello there dear viewers, I am the Bedroom Commentator, and today we are playing Technical Minecraft. Oh yeah, and in this episode we're going to be building a lot of machinery. The first machine we're going to build, we're going to build two of them. That is this thing, the compressor. The reason we're building this, I will... Well, I'll explain as I go. But, and I'll also explain why you want two of them. Although, see, there we go, two compressors. So that's how you build a compressor. We're going to hook one up. I believe the wire's back here. Yes, so I do need a wire. Um, there we go. Cable, the last cable. I've gone through so many of these. And, boom, we now have a compressor. Very good. The compressor can be used for many things, a lot of which I don't really need. But uh, seeing as we need a compressor for another recipe, I figured we might as well make one now. These are the components for other machines I'm hoping to build. Let's have a look around the room then. So, um, my plans were to have this automated. That's why the chest is there. I want ores to come out, sail across, go in, macerate and whatnot, come out, go into the furnaces, come out, go into the chest. Right. But I also wanted the furnaces for ease of access when I'm coming in to cook just food and stuff. And I like this sort of everything's here in front of me thing I've got going on. I didn't want to have to build a second of every machine, that would be a bit annoying. Also, coal can't be, well, coal can be macerated, but it'll go into a furnace and do nothing. And, you know, I just decided, I don't want to automate it, same with, like, lapis, it'll just block up. Because then I'd have to separate all the ores in that chest from what can be put into the automatic machine, and what can't be put into the automatic machine, and, um, wait a little bit. Oh, the house! Yes, I uh, I added the second floor off camera. Yes, I said last episode I'd do the house. I built the house. Um, I also worked on the farm a bit, and that's what I want to go over this episode. For a very long time I was digging. We're talking about two hours of digging. Looking for appetite. Couldn't find it. So, I opened this thing up. Appet. What? No appetite. Okay. Well, what about fertilizer? Yes, let's have a look. Oh, fertilizer's here, you know, what makes that? Scrap, bone meal, or fertilizer and two more scraps. So, the recipe changed. Um, so how do I get scrap? I wondered. You do that with a recycler. And that's what a second compressor's for. Compressor, three dirt, two refined iron, but this is incomplete. There's one component that I need for a recycler. That is glowstone dust. We all know where we get glowstone from. So I need to go to the nether. So that's not happening this episode. Because with that, I could have made scrap, I could have made fertilizer, and that's what I need for the farm. Now, I'm going to walk over here. And I'll have you know, I worked on this farm for several hours as, as much as digging, that is. Um, this is the design I have now. I made about 150 goddamn designs and ended up ripping them all out. Because making beer and stuff is hard work. Apparently, um, crossbreeding is very, very low chance that it'll be successful. And it's a very low chance that you'll get something good. You might just create a melon, say from corn and a pumpkin. The original design I had, I had four corns three punk uh, melons, two pumpkins, one coca bean, and then the last one was for coffee when I actually got it. And that allowed for every combination. I didn't take into account sugarcane. Apparently you can place sugarcane inside of crops and they will grow. So you can crossbreed sugar with like corn and stuff. Okay. And I'm actually low on coca beans now because I had to rip it all out. That and as I'm about to say, weeds grew everywhere, which I had no idea. I thought it was a possible breed plant. Um, so every combination of plants was available, uh, ignoring sugar canes, since I didn't realise. Um, what happened was I had all the sources across here, 
the second source across here, and a, a complete row of crossbeads in the middle. And what happened was this plant grew in the crossbeads. I thought it was a plant, but it was actually a weed. If it looks kind of like vines growing along the bottom, it's a weed. Just left click it, it will get destroyed. But it spread to a lot of my crops and destroyed a lot of them. That's why I only have a few coca beans. I had no idea. But then I looked it up, how to farm, and this was the best idea. You put your sauce in the corn, just like corn, melon, whatever. And your cross breeders in these. So that would be like corn and melon, melon and pumpkin, and then sugarcane and pumpkin, sugarcane and corn. And basically this this will be what the between of those two. But above this water you need a machine called the crop metron. Now, I don't remember how you build a crop metron, but I haven't done it yet because you need to have an adequate supply of materials for your plants, such as fertilizer, and the crop metron uh, needs power. Now, I'm sure you're aware of my power. So oh my God. Those vines have been growing more than I, uh, more than I wanted. I'm sure you're aware of our power situation. We actually don't have much of it, mainly because we don't use much of it. But uh, if we was to wire power all the way over here to these machines, one on each one, there wouldn't be enough. Uh, we we all know this. There would not be enough power to reach. It would just run out. We don't make that. So we're either going to have to invest in a massive power source to generate a large amount of energy in which can be transported all the way over here safely without um, running out of power basically. Or we need to build an additional power source at the back of the farm. I like the sound of that. The additional power source sounds much simpler, um, mainly because a lot of the more expensive power machines uh, so I say power generators, other than solar panels and wind turbines, which I don't have, mainly because there's a lot of trees around, and the hydro pump. A lot of these are really low output power things, unless we mass build them, which I'm not. I don't want to do. So we'd need a large power source, and they're very expensive. A lot of them require, like, um, well, I'm not actually sure what they require, so ignore that. But I do believe we need to go to the Nether get some glowstone. I think glowstone is used quite a lot in recipes, so we definitely need to do that. I build a sort of temple or something for the nether portal. Because the current plans for this area is, I made a little rubber tree sapling thing, I want like a mine shaft like here to make that tunnel, tunnel ball. Because I know I have one over there, but the resources seem dead in that area. I'm not finding anything. I found five diamonds and I've dug for hours. So, I want to build a tunnel that goes downwards in that direction, and then the tunnel wall can dig the rest. And we'll make that our mine shaft. I think that'll be uh, pretty cool. So as for a power source, I'm not too sure what to create. I, I could look into a, um, a more powerful power source, to generate a lot of energy for our house and for this farm but um, again I, I'm not sure what we need so I want to build something at the back of this farm so it's really close and uh, I think this will work I'm not sure if you need cables to power the Croptron I believe you do since it is an industrial craft 2 machine um, we also need pipes and stuff in here, but that, that should be fine. And the reason we're doing this is not so we can stock up on loads of different things like melons. It's not just so we can get beer, and it's not just so we can get coffee, although they are very good ideas of why to get them. Although I don't I, I don't know if this is how you make coffee. I'm only assuming you crossbreed it and you create the coffee bean. Uh, I, I don't know. But, um... The other reason is because I do know of one source of fuel, and that is biofuel. I want to get into biofuel. There is no oil around anywhere. I've looked. There's, there's none for mines, okay? So with no oil, 
which is a great power source, especially if converted to fuel. How are we going to power the later machines? Well, at least build craft machines. Well, if I grow crops, which I am planning to do, as you can see, I can create biofuel, and that's what a compressor could be used for, to create plant balls. With the biofuel, um, I believe I can power the biogas engine. The biogas engine can pump onto uh, redstone pipes. Redstone pipes carry electricity into a converter, turns it into industrial craft 2 energy, that powers the farm, that powers our hydropower plant, that powers our house if we have spare. So that's my plan. So uh, we're just going to pause the recording here. I'm going to go figure things out and see see what I can do. Oh, and before I go, we do need one, two, three, four, five crop patrons. So this is going to be an expensive process. So I'll be right back. So there's the crop matron. So it requires five crops, um, two circuits, which we have chest and machine pot. So let's uh, let's make this. I have a leftover crop. Let's see, so... Five crops, how would this go? Is it like a U-shape maybe? Two electronic circuits, a machine block and a chest? Oh wow! Pure guess! But there we have it, a crop which one. Now, like I said, it requires power, it requires... It requires a lot of stuff. It's a very annoying machine, I guess you could say. Um, we're going to place it on this one. So, the guys, although there isn't much, they do say, because of the mod being relatively new and not many people knowing about it, the guide is actually not that great. You're not going to find much information from it, basically. They said this is the most basic and most successful design. Put the crop on right above the water. So this shows if it has power, I assume. This is fertilizer. This is... I believe that might be water. Water cells. It's some sort of cell. And the can? I don't know. Maybe it creates waste. Oh, it's getting night time. Let's go sleep. Alright. There's only a few minutes left to the episode. I realise that I built the crop on. You guys haven't really been able to see what it does. And I will get to showing you... Uh, 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 yeah. I will get to showing you what it does. But, um... Well, until I can have it up and running, I guess I can't. So, if you're following along with my world, then... Bear in mind that you can build that machine, although... As I've explained in this episode, we're going to need a lot of things to get it done. But uh, let me go see if I can make some plant balls and such and so forth. Oh well, it's more simple than I thought. It's just wheat, sugar cane, seeds, leaves, saplings, dead shrubs, grass. Yeah, so let's get let's get creative. A feed station. <laughs> One can only wonder. No, oh, it's my plant ball. I guess the crafting table 3 doesn't know what it is. That may be because I don't have enough meat. Hmm. Yep, there it is. Plant ball. So, with this plant ball, you go over to your compressor, you bung it in there, it does its thing. Actually, compressing takes a while, so let's take the overclock upgrade out of there, and we'll put it into here. Because compressing is a very slow process. And we have our compressed plants. Now then, that's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was very informative, which I know it wasn't. That's okay. We built the crop matron, so now you know how to do that. We're going to work on a power source, an external power source for the farm. Um, my plan for it is to... I'm going to use Buildcraft to generate power. If you know how that works, then you will understand that you could use redstone en engines, which take no power, just like a redstone wire and a lever, and they will generate electricity. 
but they generate so little amount of electricity, it's barely not worth it. So if you go for steam engines, you need fuel. If you go for combustion engines, you need more fuel. Oil or fuel. I believe combustion engines, though, do work on biofuel. Either way, if you have a biogas engine, it runs on biofuel, which is perfect. It's right outside the farm. Any spare food we don't need, we'll make an automatic system. Oh, this is spare food. Chuck it in there. It'll make us plant balls. It'll compress it, make biofuel. We'll be, we'll be living in a golden age. And hey, we might even make a jetpack sometime and have a biofuel our jetpack. Oh, it's all coming good. But the most important thing about all of this is making beer. Yes, I want beer. Actually, I want coffee. I'd love to wake up in the morning of mine and walk down to the stairs with a nice cup of coffee waiting. The days would be awesome. Well, I'll see you in the next episode.